Well, welcome everyone. We are so glad you are here um, and honored to have you with us. I am in the midst of bringing us up live on Facebook. And uh, one of the things that I love about Leiteri Sunday is it, it's sort of a little foretaste of the feast. And, um, and the feast in this case is the feast of Easter. And when I was a kid, um, Easter dinner was always a big thing in my family. Um, and, and by big thing, I mean, I remember some Easter dinners where the whole family was gathered. There was a turkey on the table. There was a ham on the table. There was a roast beef on the table. There were four different kinds of, of potato salad, plus hot potatoes, plus pickles, plus the regular sides, plus vegetables and salad, plus pie so i'm talking feast so my question is for you all um what is if you had to choose one feast food that you would just be overjoyed to see it brought to the table and it can be anything and you don't and you don't have to say oh i'd have to cook it or you know whatever it can be from your childhood it can be an absolute imagined thing what is your favorite feast food of all time Beef tenderloin and mashed potatoes. Beef what? Tenderloin. Beef tenderloin and mashed potatoes. Okay, great. Yeah. How about you, Allison? I used to make this wonderful lasagna uh, Christmas Eve. They would have it in the refrigerator. Yeah. It came with meat, sausage. It was a real there you go. beautiful whole yeah. milk mozzarella. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anne Marie? Uh, king crab legs. Ooh. Nice. Strong butter. There mm -hmm. you go. How about you, Bill? Yeah. Um, ribs. Ribs? Pork ribs? Beef ribs? What? Uh, pork. Oh, okay. For me, it's my it's my grandparents standing rib roast. Mm. Um, and then Yorkshire puddings made from the drippings of it. Yeah. Yep. My beef, mother beef, dripping York, beef dripping York, York, mm -hmm. Yorkshire puddings. My my grandmother's pudding pan, I don't even know how old it was, but it, that, that just made it perfect, you know, like really just heavily seasoned. Well, welcome all. We are glad you are here with us um, and so honored to have you in our midst. Um, honored to have you for evening prayer. This has been both our busy day and my busy day because I actually had a day when I've had literally not one hour off of Zoom, but the fact that I get to close my day in prayer with you all on Zoom just makes everything feel like I ate an, a cake with icing on it. <laughs> um, so I'm glad for that. So thank you and, and thank you for being here. All right, um, I will bring up evening prayer as we speak, or I should say as I speak, and we will head on in. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, darkness is not dark to thee, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to thee are both alike. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who are, I'm sorry, but thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitents, according to thy promises declared unto humankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The almighty and merciful Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 81 and 82. I'll offer the odd verses. You guys will respond with the even. Sing aloud to God our strength. Shout for joy to the God of Jacob. Praise the song, sound the, sound the tambourine, the sweet lyre with the harp. <clears throat> Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon on our festal day. For it is a statute for Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob. He made it a decree in Joseph when he went out over the land of Egypt. I heard a voice, voice I had not I known. I relieved your, your shoulder, shoulder of the burden. The burden your hands were hands freed, were freed from, the from the basket. In distress you called and I rescued you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, Hear, O my people, my people while I admonish you, you. O Israel, Israel, you would but, listen, you would but to listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not bow down to a foreign God. I am the Lord, the Lord your God, God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Egypt. Open, your, Open your mouth wide, and I will and I fill it. it. But my people did not listen to my voice. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them, so I gave them over, over to their stubborn, their stubborn hearts, hearts to follow, to follow their, their own counsels. counsels. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. Then I would quickly, quickly subdue, subdue their, their enemies, enemies and turn my, my hand, hand against, against their, foes. their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe before him, and their doom would last forever. Would feed I would you, feed you with the, the finest, finest of the wheat, and, and, and with honey from the rock, rock, rock I, would I would satisfy you. God has taken his place in the divine council. In the midst of the gods, he holds judgment. How long will you judge, judge unjustly, unjustly and show partiality, show partiality to the wicked? Give justice to the weak and the orphan. Maintain the right of the lowly and the destitute. Rescue, rescue, the, rescue weak the weak and the, and the needy. needy. From Deliver the them from the from hand, the hand of, the of the wicked. They have neither knowledge nor understanding. They walk around in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I say, I say you are you gods. Are Children of the Most High, all of you. Nevertheless, you shall die like mortals and fall like any prince. Rise up, rise up, rise up oh God. Judge the earth for all the nations, for all the nations, all the nations belong, belong to, you. to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Yeah. A reading from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. Now concerning food sacrificed to idols, we know that all of us possess knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. Anyone who claims to know something does not yet have the necessary knowledge, but anyone who loves God is known by him. Hence, as to the eating of food offered to idols, we know that no idol in the world really exists and that there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there may be so-called gods in heaven or on earth, as in fact there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there was one God, the Father, from whom all things and for whom we exist, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things and through whom we exist. It is not everyone, however, who has this knowledge. Since some have become so accustomed to idols until now, they still think of the food they eat as food offered to an idol, and their conscience being weak is defiled. Food will not bring us close to God. We are no worse off if we do not eat, and no better off if we do. But take care that this liberty of yours does not somehow become a stumbling block to the weak. For if others see you who possess knowledge eating in the temple of an idol, might they not, since their conscience is weak, be encouraged to the point of eating food sacrificed to idols? So by your knowledge, those weak believers for whom Christ died are destroyed. But when you thus sin against members of your family, 
the and wound their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food is a cause of their falling, I will never eat meat so that I may not cause one of them to fall. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening, a song of Judith. Together, I will sing a new song to my God, for you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came into being. You sent your breath and it formed them. No one is able to resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who fear you, you continue to show mercy. No sacrifice, however fragrant, can please you. But whoever fears the Lord shall stand in your sight forever. Reading from John. <clears throat> Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then the Pharisees said to him, you are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, if if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid because I know where I have come from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid, for it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. Then they said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. He spoke these words while he was teaching in the treasury of the temple, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle this evening, Song of Christ's Humanity, together. Though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. And do thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy children joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only only in the name of the Savior. Lord, keep this nation under thy care. Guide us, and guide us, guide us in the way of justice and truth. truth. Let thy way be known upon earth. I say, I say, I say help, help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the, the poor, poor be taken away. away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain, and sustain us, us with thy Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. 
keepeth keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul through jesus christ our lord who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen O God, who art the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank thee for the timely blessings of the day and humbly beseech thy merciful protection all the night. Bring us, we pray thee, in safety to the morning hours through him who died for us and rose again, thy son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, who dost manifest in thy servants the signs of thy presence, Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, thine abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We give thanks for the beauty of this day and for the volunteers at our community supper who are also seeking to help people find vaccination appointments. And we pray for Chris, who is preparing for a surgical procedure tomorrow. We pray for Caitlin, who is recovering from surgery. We pray for the whole human family. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts break down the walls that separate us, unite us in bonds of love, and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The General Thanksgiving, together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. 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 Well, thank you, everyone. It begins to bring to a close the end of our long day here at St. Peter's. We are serving dinner outside at the community okay. supper. If you wish to drive by and pick up one to go or pick up one for your uh, neighbor or a friend, please feel free to do so. As well, we also have our mobile food pantry active down there, and you can pick up some food um, for others for the days to come or for yourself. Please do as well, like and subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, we appreciate your comments. If you have any need, people needing prayers, please put those in the comments. We'll make sure they get prayed for in the days and offices to come. We have uh, now just one last function in the Community of Hope Ministry Board meeting tonight, and we will reconvene tomorrow for morning prayer at 9 a.m. Anything else to add? Nope. Tomorrow's, tomorrow's uh, the rector's vlog. Oh, yes. And we have the rector's vlog and also the blog posting. So please do keep your eyes peeled for that. Take care and God bless. Bye. Bye. Good night.